Now in the past, I've searched the forums for the, the subject of pressure washers and can they self prime? Can you self prime a pressure washer? And it turns out that it will. I have this pressure washer hooked up to a triac circuit so that I can control the power. What I've got going on here is a forehead sprayer with a pressure washer hooked up to it. Now I can't get into any of the details of what this thing is or what it does. Ah, and I'm out of water. Okay, take two. It's gonna take a second for the air bubbles to get out of the line. But uh here we go. Now, I don't know why, but I'm not getting the slightest bit of pressure reading out of this thing. Surely we're getting something. I mean, I can feel that line stiffen up big time. I'm worried that we're causing a Ventura here. What do you guys think? This is fairly high flow in a small area. You can't hook a pressure gauge up like this. This should have been teed off the other direction to where the water's colliding. So I think I'm gonna have to redo this pressure gauge, guys. Let's uh, test that theory real quick while we're at it. What the hell? Let's um, take this apart, flip it around to where we don't have a Ventura right here. Huh. All right, we're, we're taking the gauge off, damn it. Okay, what in the heck is going on? We just destroyed that gauge. So I think this gauge is broke. So I'm baffled at this point. I don't know why that gauge wasn't registering nothing. I'm going to set the pressure at 200 PSI's and we'll take a look here. Got the mare in the line. about 200 psi which is a pretty enormous amount of mist actually I'm making a huge mess I think it's so bad the problem is this motor might burn up running at this power level I was about a half gallon of water. Yeah, that just really ticks me off, man. I don't understand why this gauge, we should have more than enough pressure to actuate that gauge. Maybe it's just seized up or broke. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm gonna hook it back up. We're gonna try it again. We should at least be moving to the 200 mark there. Well, that little, test pretty much just reduce these two gauges into pressure sensors rather than pressure indicators <laughs> all right we're gonna try this again we're gonna start off low see if we can get any pressure Nuts, man. What in the hell? That is so weird. Can't even get a single movement at all out of this gauge. 
and yet we're pegging 200 psi gauges so it looks like i'm going shopping that ain't working out other than that the nozzles are working great Bad. Well, I'm 